striped bass are a hard-fighting migratory fish that venture into the waters off of Massachusetts around mid-May for the spring run, chasing bait like mackerel, herring, and pogies. These fish have all summer to grow and bulk up in the rivers and beaches on the east coast. The fall run presents a special opportunity for anglers to tangle with big fish as they migrate back down south. Beginning sometime in September and lasting throughout November, the boys and I set out time and time again on Plum Island with the goal of catching big fish, chasing after that 50 pound striped bass. With over a month and a half of footage, countless nights fished, and countless fish caught, this is Jason Striper, an original film documenting our journey throughout the fall run on Plum Island for the 2023 season. I hope you enjoy. beautiful night out here about 60 maybe 62 degrees some western winds for the boys tonight gonna we'll see if we can get it done but uh yep stay tuned we're using mackerel casting from the surf jensen has is it a tank pretty good one right after hurricane lee fishing i might have to go out and land it. it's about to be dead low was ripping some drag right as it was getting dark out he hit let me know if you think he's beached I'll cut the video and look for him back out on Plum Island Reservation once again think he's beach all right guys I'm going out there to find him super shallow gents is battling I think it's still a little is it here? Looks pretty cool if you fight in it like that. He's right here? Alright guys. I don't see it yet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's still out in that wave, right? Oh, this is a gotta be a really big fish. We, we've been still fighting it for two minutes. Pull him in with this one. All right, you guys, giant. 43, 44. 44? 44, just, yeah. 44. Pull them up, gents. We didn't know what would happen. Looks like there might be a decent night here. We just got out. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Not bad. Looks freaking giant. 44. 44 on the head. Almost your biggest, just about. Is Second biggest. If you, yeah, I mean, are you gonna get flooded over? I mean, I can really walk him out.
Wow, I cannot believe that. Here, do you want to take it first? Yeah. Chris just released it for me. Storm him off. He's good. He just Let's go, dude. Yeah, he was he was a little tired, but not too bad. Yeah. All right, guys. So Jensen just got that real nice one on the head. That's what we've been getting our bigger bites on. I hook it right like that through the lip. I think it's also pretty important to leave some of the body chunk on below the head through the gill there. Um, now we just got 40 pound leader here. This is an eight aught circle hook. And then we're using a three ounce weight with a weight clip and then put a bead over the swivel. I like to use two, but uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, keep on chunking here and hopefully another big dog rolls through. Is he getting close? That's looking like a, uh, a big schoolie to me. Well, maybe bigger. Get that rod bending maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a that's good one. fat. Yeah, that's a fat one. I don't want to get soaked. Oh my! Whoa! He just soaked me. Look out! Oh God! <laughs> Greg, grab that thing, dude! Oh my God! That's a chubby chunka. Not a bad one. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna walk out for the release, but nice 33 incher, fat. Greg's gonna put her back. I think I might've missed a bite when I was filming and the gents man's getting bit, so I'm gonna stay by the rod here. It's a good one for Greg though. Well, that was the uh, last fish of the night. Gents got on a uh, real nice one there. Pretty awesome start to the fall run season and uh, we'll be getting back out there again soon enough. Another night on the reservation. It's been about two weeks since we've uh, had a good night out here. Caught a couple little schoolies here and there, but it's been a pretty tragic week out here, all because of this seaweed. Had some crazy winds and surf, and uh, a lot of this seaweed got washed up, and the waves are too rough to really be fishing. But tonight it's nice and calm. Got Dave with us. See if he'll bring us some good luck fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
That's a nice one. 44 incher. My arms are on fire. I'm about to let them go. Freaking tank. Look at that. Woo wee! Alright, watch your rod. Lot three, Plum Island Reservation. We were uh, fishing on lot six earlier. Dave lost a couple schoolies probably. I missed a couple. We decided to come down here because the tide's coming in and uh, rewarded with a nice 44 incher. Thing was a tank. Dave just missed another fish here. He's uh, just got to get the technique down a little bit here, but we're going to get him on one tonight. Hopefully, uh, another big fish comes in, but. I don't know how good the footage was of me fighting it, but um, I mean, he was really ripping my drag pretty good. We're on like a decent slope right now. And I stayed up here for a bit. So he had some real nice drag runs, got him in close and uh, felt them beach. So waited for a nice wave and I pulled him in with it and I went out and grabbed them. My second biggest fish ever is this, that's pretty freaking awesome. Nice one, south winds tonight. I think it's gonna be a good night. Oh, yeah. Is he going left or are we good? He's going left a bit. Oh, he's out there, dude. Should I reel up? Oh, my God. He's got to be far out still. He's only far. He's like where I casted. Oh man, still. 
He had a massive run at the beginning. I don't know if I got it. <laughs> when he bit, he was just running. I flip my boot on it. And he's still ripping. Yeah. He's close. Oh, yeah. He's not too big. Oh no, he's gotta be big, kid. There he goes again. Just keep. I'll. I'll go. Where is he? He's still out to the left a little. We could. We could pull him in right here, maybe. Start. Yeah. 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 Because the left is filling up. Is he pretty close? Yeah. All right. I'm putting the camera down, guys. Thirty-eight inch over slot. Yeah. a seal peeking his head at me waiting for me to get a fish. I think you can see that. It's like a giant. I'm out here trying to try my luck with some lures and some blue fish. Probably won't catch anything but got some clam for later on out here at the boulder field. Absolute baby. We're gonna get him back, but clam's been out for like five minutes. Alrighty, guys. It's getting dark out. Just got another little one here. It seems like there's a ton of little schoolies around. There he is. Get a real one here. Another tiny little guy. Gonna get him back. Hopefully, we get some uh, bigger fish coming in, but. A fish is a fish. It's been pretty slow this past week. Let's see if we can get a sh shallow release here. There he goes. That's pretty cool. Constant action. I'm gonna pull him in with these waves. Still got my bait. Well, there he is. Nice little schoolie. Third one of the night already. I've also missed a few bites. Let's see if we can get a cool shallow water release of them. Some waves coming in here. Some nice colors. There's, here we go, brother. <laughs> Following them out again, it's pretty cool. Some crazy clouds, the sun's setting. It's uh, pretty much slack low right now. Gonna maybe fish the whole incoming tide using some clams. Got Dave with us, trying to get him on some fish. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. You got him? Yeah. Dave, let's go. Woo! <laughs> let's fucking go! <laughs> Woo! All right, chill out. <laughs> Dave's getting a little excited. He's uh, We've been out here for about, I'd say over a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 20. This is the first bite of the night on our last cast. Looks like a good one. Is he ripping drag? Yeah. Keep the tension on him. Yep, yep, yep. Let me know if he's beached. Is he, do you think he's close in? I have no idea. Cause uh, it's shallow out there. Yeah, that is a that is a nine foot rod. It's I can tell it's a good fish though. Let me hit your headlight. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I can see a little better now. Uh oh. Real, 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 real. All right, you're good. You do you lose him? No. All right. No. Let me walk out. I think he's getting close. 
Oh, I don't think it's that big. It's not even that big. It's a decent one, Dave. It's a schoolie. It's a it's a chunky one though. That might be your PB. Yeah. This is Dave's schoolie. <laughs> Pretty good one for Dave. Down in the sand, a nice sand eel. Oh, it's a pretty big one. That must be why all these schools are around munching on these sand eels. Get them back in the water. I've just missed two bites. Jensen missed a bite. I'm gonna have to rebait in a second here. They're biting the clam pretty good. What do you got? I think it's a decent schoolie. He's got a little bit of bite in him. Right, we were about to walk. I'm gonna walk down there and grab him. Probably nice schoolie. This dude's got a lot of fight in him. Nice, uh, chunky little schoolie. Yeah. Yeah. First one of the night, baby. 50 pounder? Yeah, 55 pounder. Alrighty, guys, I couldn't even get my rod back to the rod holder. Feels like a decent school. Oh, Chris, I'm getting bit. Alrighty, guys, another schoolie. They're biting like crazy. I'm just getting bit get right now. Getting bit? Alright, I'm just gonna get him back out. Get that one, Jensen. Schoolie on here. Jensen's got another one here. They're biting non stop. I just popped off on a, on a schoolie, I think. Had about three bites and then popped. Alrighty, guys, Jensen's got a, a little schoolie here. I'm gonna send her back. I gotta uh, rebait. I just popped off on two fish. Well, uh, well, while I was filming that, I almost caught him one hand. He popped off. What am I cool? But I'm gonna get back out there. Oh. Jensen's got a maybe a decent one, or it could just be a schooler that was just fighting hard. That looks like a decent one, huh? Yeah. Keep him left. Jen's headlight died. Looks like there might have been a a decent sized fish in the mix out here on these sand eels. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Now, uh, hopefully we have that beginning clip. Jensen's uh, on a decent fish here. I accidentally shot my phone off. Oh yeah. A big fish mixed in with these schoolies, dude. Yo, know, let's walk out. He's probably getting beach, huh? Ripping line, dude. <laughs> uh, looks a lot, you can see a lot more. Holy shit. Is he? Yeah, no, nah, you're good. You got a lot, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna reel up a little here. Trying to hold my rod and film. We just recasted, we were getting some small bites and took our clam. I didn't think there'd be any decent fish out here, but I was wrong, that's for sure. Is he still, he's still ripping line, dude. He's still out there. I think I'm getting bit. All right, I'm gonna kill the video and try to find this fish. Look at that, guys. It's like October 19th, Jens might have 40 on. Here, pull him up, gents. He's not getting away, you got him. That thing's a pig, dude. Jensen with a with a tank. Show him that gut real quick. Oh yeah, hold him up one more. Here, hold, oh yeah. There she goes, dude. Right with that wave and she's gone. Swimming back to the depths. That's awesome. I got a fish one. Dance. I got one. Take this. It's a good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Drag ripping or what? Yeah, it's 
heavy though, right? I gotta get my bay back out. Stop the, the release video. I felt the bite the whole time. I, I, I was like, it, it was just a subtle bite. It was a big fish and subtle sometimes. Looks like they're uh, coming back down south. Too bad. Beauty, right. guys. It's like October 19th, the yep. last one. Same clip. Same clip. One Send them back. Them. I don't know if I'll be able to catch any on film here, but uh, these fish have been. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Kind of can see it, maybe. These fish have been biting like crazy. Bunch of schoolies mostly. We got a couple good ones because there's peanut bunker in these crashing waves. Oh, there's one. Peanut bunker, pretty good amount of them. But uh, that last schoolie I caught was my 100th fish of the season, so that was pretty awesome. Kind of forgot about that when I caught them, but. Alrighty, guys, the bite has slowed down a little. Well, Jensen's actually been getting bit. I haven't got a bite in like 10 minutes. But I mean, before we were on a school big time, we couldn't even have our bait out for like one minute. We were getting bit like crazy. And I think two double hookups. But Jensen, what do you got? A little rat on there? Oh, it's probably 12 inch. A little 12 inch uh, schoolie. I don't even, is it is a 12 incher considered a schoolie? Probably. <laughs> it's a little, it's a bait size. Oh, there he is. Let's see what we got here. Oh, shit, might need a picture of that. <laughs> That's the smallest one of the night for Aww. sure. <laughs> nice sand attack. Looks like the little scrappers are rolling through, so we're about to pack it up. But what is that? Six, seventh fish of the night? In, I don't know. I think you've, you're up to four. I got three. Gonna take one more cast, but Jensen's gonna put that little guy back. Hopefully he'll grow to be a 50. Hold that up, dude. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. It does have some nice colors. The stripes are perfect. Yeah. Pretty good night. It was pretty good for the uh, end of the fall run. Yeah, pretty much the end of the fall run. Maybe we'll get out here uh, next week or if it's not raining too bad this weekend, but got to check the weather on that. But uh, yeah, blew our expectations away tonight anyway. So that was a fun night. Good end of the season. Yeah. Make sure you guys are, uh, you're always chunking because I ain't ever caught no striped bass on no law in my life. So. That's a waste. Ran out of clam. <laughs> but all right. Till next time. Back out here fishing on plum. Probably a, a big schoolie. Put up a good fight. Pretty chunky. Tides been going out for a couple hours here. Haven't been fishing too long with the clam. Definitely a good way to start the night.
Last night we caught like 10 fish, it was awesome. The rain held, is holding off for another day, so got another night out here. Hooked up fish number three. Oh wow, that's actually a keeper, I think. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a that's an overslot. He felt he felt heavy for sure, but it's so shallow out here. I didn't even realize he was that that decent of a fish. Get him in. It's hard to get the whole fish in frame. I'd say that's a good 35 inch here. The third fish of the night. Walk him out a little. Absolute mayhem out here, guys. Bunch of uh, peanut bunker out here again. And we on a nice one. Might even be like a 36 inch here, honestly. Third fish of the night, just got through a little patch of rain. Oh, I cannot believe it, guys. I've got a, a tank, frickin' drag. That might be a 40. I was not getting any bites and I stuck it out. Uh, that might not be 40, but it's gotta be high 30s. That thing was fighting hard. Let's go. Holy crap. This came out of nowhere. Guys, look at that. That's a tanker and a little baby. I gotta get him back. I double hook up before this guy makes quick. Gotta get that big one. Alright. I made sure to revive him before I unhooked the other one. Not quite 40 inches. He's about 37 inches. Just pretty fat. Walking him out here. You get him by the tail. Come on, another wave coming. There he goes. Alright, he's good to go. So it's currently the end of October. Uh, it seems that the full moon and some cold weather have kind of shut down the fishing. Uh, but the peanut bunker on Plum Island this past week uh, made for some great fishing. Jensen and I got a couple decent fish, which uh, was a very nice way to end off the season. Uh, we also managed to land a couple of striper over 40 inches at the start of the fall run. So uh, all in all, it was a pretty good fall run. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think of this longer type of video. Um, we tried to show the full experience of going out there and trying to catch some big striper. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching, especially if you made it this far. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.